So we moored up in Nelson on the Morrison's supermarket moorings, which um, which are good. They're they're not very well kept, I have to say, but they're good because you've got the uh, the bollards to tie up to, and there's um, a picket gate to get into the Morrison's car park and hence into the shop and it's um, got a handcuff key lock on it so you're really secure at night here nobody can get in and the towpath's on the other side it poured and poured with rain all day yesterday didn't move an inch went shopping got drenched spent the day looking out the window at the rain and the wind but uh, it's a dry start to the day today gonna head off as fast as I can because rain's forecast and uh, I hate standing out in the rain getting drenched but one thing I have noticed is there's lots of people up and down on the towpath there they leave food out I guess for the wildfowl but the thing is when there's nobody about there's loads of rats all coming and eating the food so uh, all they're really doing is keeping the rat population well fed Right, let's head off. Direction of Wigan. Another thing that's very apparent is we come down from through the Barrow Ford locks, which are only about a mile up behind us. And it is two different canals. There's rubbish and debris in this canal. I'm just going past the shopping trolley that's in the canal. The other road, other side of the Barrowful deck, locks. It's a different place, well kept, no rubbish. See the fittings in the wall where they used to moor up to unload their goods. Another thing that's been very apparent since since I've set off is over the last 48 hours, I've literally only seen one other boat on the move, so it's pretty quiet. Considering we're now into uh, 9th, 10th of April, it's cold too. Industrial buildings on the canal side. Built magnificent stone but blackened by coal tar and soot that was full in the air all the right way back. So that was Bridge Mill in its day.
that section there looks like it's well cared for and loved. Some industrial heritage. There's a town gas storage holder behind the uh, buildings in front of the canal. And there's a ubiquitous shopping trolley. that has been a hive of industrial activity. All along the wall here is uh, mooring rings. That will be an old loading bay just there on the left. We've worked up now but Walkers about. Yeah, before the rain comes, I expect. Nice view across there. That's the rooftops. Four miles to Burnley, 13 to Hebden Bridge, and 10 miles back to town, Oldswick. to some open countryside between Nelson and Burnley and the uh, litter has disappeared. A few years ago we went to India and one of the overriding memories I have of that is the litter that was literally everywhere. It's around the people. If you're on a train going through rural India, along the train's tracks, there's just rows and rows and rows of 
litter that's been thrown out of the train. So it's like a big ribbon corridor of litter wherever the train tracks are, even in the countryside. And lots of this urban area here on the Leeds and Liverpool, Burnley, Blackburn, reminds me of it, because that's just what the canal's like. It's just littered with plastic and trolleys, bikes. It's such a shame why people who just can't look after their uh, environment. There's a massive great piece of debris in the middle of the canal here. by the looks of it. Fence post, I believe. Now they've been busy. Lots of little ducklings there, look. Mother looking after them. down to collect the maintenance for the children to get more bureaucracy. Tell you what, the uh, Net Zero Warrior Brigade would have you believe that uh, we're getting warmer. I'll tell you what, this is one of the coldest April days I can remember. I'm absolutely bloody frozen. Grass monkeys frozen. Let's get some oil fire heating on and get warm. and
Hotel are just coming into what's known as Weaver's Triangle in Burnley, famous old wharf. 